Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and we are in my little house. I know it almost looks like we are in a tree house, but this is my van and we are just parked literally on the street right now. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a hair tutorial. I know I'm not your typical beauty blogger and I don't want to be a typical beauty blogger. I'm more adventurer. <laughs> But um, this hair tutorial was quite requested because I had it in one of my Instagram pictures or in my stories and people were just asking how to do it. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it, what products I use and we have to hurry up because I don't know if you can hear the inverter. Using those kind of stuff is difficult in a van. You know, we always struggle with electricity and stuff things that heat up. You know, it's not gonna be a typical tutorial. We're just gonna sit here and talk a little bit about life and the things I went through. I'm sorry, I missed, I missed, I need like a rubber band so I can do that hairdo. This will, whoa, this will absolutely do the job. Before we start, I need to show you something amazing. Electricity, water, and space is always the most concerning thing inside of the van. Storing big clothes are just really difficult. So I got these vacuum things. You probably know them, but this one is, does, oh no, it has ripped. It has a hole, guys. I really wanted to show you how I use it. Never mind. Let's just head over to the hair tutorial, guys. Um, first of all, I got this got to be, um, heat spray to protect the hair. We're just gonna roughly go through it. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we part the hair. I'm just gonna do it real quick with my chopstick because I don't have anything else. So what I'm using, it's a very old iron current that I have from back in the days. There are probably better ones now, but this is from Babyliss Pro and it's a wave curver that gives you that typical wavy hair look and just clip it in this side so you have the lines on the button that actually will take a little while obviously i'm here currently in belgium and i'm here because i picked up a friend he was struggling with his van because his van is in india <laughs> yes in india and he's from france because of corona he had to leave india and he came back here to france or Belgium right now because he has a job to do and since he doesn't have a car currently I just thought I'm just gonna bring him here and help him out a little bit and watch over his shoulder how he works because he's a videographer he shoot it for Louis Vuitton, Yves Saint Laurent and Red Bull so it's very inspiring, very cool. His story is super exciting. I will link him below if you want to check him out eventually. We've been hanging out the last couple of days and it's been really nice actually. So yeah, as you see, this hairstyle will take a quite a bit <laughs> for you to finish it. And you will probably surely get a cramp inside of your hand. But as you see, we have those pretty like beachy waves. And from this, we just go section to section. And there's another thing I really want to talk with you about. Lately, I've become a very, very healthy and confident version of myself. It's also because I've been taking care of myself from the outside, from the inside. I've been taking care of my mental stage and everything else. So as most of you probably know, but I'm gonna tell it again for the new ones. Um, I had an accident with this van like six months ago. In Scotland I was alone my boyfriend broke up with me not long later I had my arm broken my ankles ripped my dad got corona and then we had corona so everything <laughs> really happened at the same time I didn't know how to handle all my emotions it was like a roller coaster it just went up and down and up and down well I just thought how could this be how can so much bad happen to me there is something I believe in that is higher, that is higher than we can imagine. I just want to tell you that even if you are currently in a very 
bad stage of life because I've been there. I just want to tell you that when you let the time pass, you will look back and see how the dots connect. And everything you're going through right now is there to make you stronger, is there to eventually shift you in another life direction, or is there to make you learn. Just remember, things will get better and things will come out even better for you. Because now, after the accident and looking back to all the things that has happened to me, I can only say that I was blessed. I was blessed that I got the accident. I was blessed that my boyfriend dumped me. I, I'm blessed that I got my arm broken. I'm blessed with all of the things that happened to me. Because when I look back, when I got the accident and was on a highway, we were driving 90 kilometers an hour. First of all, I have to say, I'm not, I was not dead. I, I, I didn't die. Like seriously, there are so many accidents on the streets that happen every single day and so many people die and I got out there alive. I was blessed. I was very lucky with first that. And then, yeah, sure, the person who crashed into me, he did a hit and run. But at the same day, I was lucky enough to meet a couple who were there, right there, when I was totally alone with my dog and had no place to go. They were there to let me in their house and take care of me. Okay, second blessing. <laughs> then I was back in my home country at some point and I didn't know how to get my van back. It was all the way from Scotland. No insurance company would bring a totally broken car from from Scotland to Germany they wouldn't even do it I called and they wouldn't even do it but somehow through the internet I got to meet Mike Plompen who was doing a car delivery to Scotland who was from Belgium and who offered me to bring my car back to Germany third blessing already because how rare how rare is that and all he wanted was the money for the fuel how rare is this so this was the second blessing, the, second, uh, the third blessing from God. That same day when my, my van back home to Germany, I go through my Instagram messages randomly. I click on one and I met Ollie, who was living very close from my hometown and who offered me to take care of the van and he will fix it. And, and, and he was comforting me that he was able to fix it. At the exact same day when the van arrived, because I had no parking, I had no place, I didn't know what to do. But at the same day, he appeared all out of the blue, you know? And I, through all the messages I get from Instagram, I click on his. You know, so that was the fourth, the fourth blessing. So then the whole Corona thing started and the van conversion took really a long time because Corona, nobody really was working. And it was also, you know, just a tough time. Within that time, well, I broke my arm. I ripped my tendons, do skateboarding. And I was helpless to even cook my own food or wear my own clothes. I was lucky um, that I didn't need the surgery. So, and then in that time, when I was trying to recover, I was already in a really hot, in a really bad mood, in a very bad head stage. And then after a little while, um, during Corona, when it was hard already for me and my ex-boyfriend to see each other, um, he dumped me out of the blue, obviously. And it came so out of the blue, I was not prepared for it. And uh, it was that was the point when I was almost like on the edge and I totally I was totally gone <sighs> you know what I really believe in I believe in that eventually I do believe that this higher force protected me during corona that I was not traveling in my van first of all somewhere and that I was somehow stuck in my hometown but while it all happened with my broken arm and with my heartbreak, I had the comfort of my friends, which I wouldn't have had physically if I was traveling inside of my van. I just wanted to tell you that no matter what you are going through right now, and I know it's hard and you seem like sometimes nothing really helps. So it's, it's so weird. It's not like I'm religious really, and I never been, but I, do believe that you know that power that guidance they these angels god 
the universe, whatever, the karma, they protected me. I'm in this stage where I worked a lot mentally, physically on myself to get better, to get stronger and to feel just really amazing inside of my skin. And I've been doing that by reading, by meditating every day, by working out, by trying to eat healthy as much as I can. Obviously still indulge a little bit into the unhealthy things because, you know, I want to be alive, I want to enjoy it. And for me, it's all a balance. That's the, and that's the main thing I was working on since, since all of this happened. And now, look at me, I'm back inside of my van, I'm back traveling, I'm back on my social media, my work, I'm back on feeling really great from the inside and the outside. I'm making myself pretty, I'm looking myself in the mirror and I like what I see. I, I can spread positivity and love. And I thought it's very important because there are so many people out there suffering at the same time. And sometimes we all feel lost. <laughs> and people turn to me strangers who don't really know me they know me but they don't really know me and yet they tell me their private stories and i appreciate that so i thought you know eventually that's what some people need maybe because they don't have that kind of comfort friends or whatever so i'm here to remind you that you're a badass and no matter what will ever happen no matter who you're going against with if friends family Never, never forget that you are a queen, that you are above all, and that you, it will, if you've been a good person, it will come back to you. It will protect you and it will keep you safe. Trust me. You just have to believe. You have to trust. You have to trust in something. But at the same time, you should practice trusting in yourself trust in your abilities trust that you can do it and trust that no matter what will happen and as long as you don't die you can dribble that thing you can make it happen i know oh this is a hair tutorial not a motivational video <laughs> it's all guys it's all anyway wow see i've been talking so much and we only done the but um we're gonna skip it forward Oh my god, I did not just do that in front of the camera. Do you know sometimes when you are in your thoughts and you just laugh about something all of a sudden, even in public, sometimes I just drift away and I think about something and I just have to laugh. Wow. If we just look at this side, it already looks pretty satisfying. So we're gonna work on this side now. J'apprends un peu de français ici. Um, avec mon copain, mon ami, copain. C'est un très, c'est un très schwer, um, difficult, difficile. C'est un très, très difficile <laughs> parce que je, parce que je try parler un peu mas. Mas, is that French or is that Portuguese? Oh my, I have so many languages in my head. I'm so mixed up. Anyway, I'm studying a little bit French anyway. I always study the language where I'm traveling. So that's why I can understand way better French than I can speak it, but I'm trying to speak a bit more. So the hair is done. I'm just gonna go through it a little bit. And um, you can put a little bit of hairspray in. So yeah, this was my van hair tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, I wanna mix it up a little bit more, not just do vlogs all the time. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye.